Topics. I'm your host, Dorje, where we will talk all things fashion and more. Before we go any further, please subscribe to our YouTube page. All right. Um, how did the name of your store come about and what does it mean? Actually, um, it is my middle name, uh, to be honest. And it was always something that, as a child, uh, was kind of, um, not a shame, but you know, you really didn't. It wasn't really the fun name to say, you know, so it wasn't really anything that kind of got out of the bag. So I figured when I got older, I was trying to think of, you know, when I actually decided that I wanted to do this, I was trying to come up with a name for it. Um, just something kind of clicked in me, like, you know what, I'm going to use that, I'm going to take that back. You know, just, just use it to, to mean something that, that, that I actually um, like. Um, I like the name in general, but it always had that kind of negative connotation in my mind. I think it was kind of ingrained in me. So then now I just wanted to make it something that was, you know, fun. Uh, it's really distinctive to me. I think that. Thank you. Um, why did you choose Dayton over Columbus and Cincinnati? I get that question a lot, um, honestly. Uh, first off, this is where I'm from, right? Um, and, and this is where I know. Uh, secondly, to me, I kind of saw a, a resurgence or, or a sort of renaissance going on in Dayton or, or getting ready to happen. And I've always been the type that if you can see something, you jump for it, you know, you go at it and, and you try to be a part of it. So what I saw in Dayton was that um, the, the, the community here um, started recognizing what we were from Cap City and really looking towards urban living, urban lifestyle. Um, that tells you that people are really looking to do a lot of, you know, on the ground, feet on the ground shopping, you know, to, to really get around and actually live and, and, and work around the same places that they shop at. And I really wanted to be a part of that. Uh, have buyers come in and say, well, why didn't you go to Oakwood? Or, you know, why didn't you, you know, go out to, to Beaver Creek? Um, Beaver Creek, to me, I, I, I think is a great place. Um, but I think that for what I was looking to do, I don't think it would, it would have meshed well there. And they have other shops out there that do really good. Um, Oakwood, you know, much the same. Um, I really like it. I go out there. I go there a lot. I, I seem to be addicted to this new chocolate company that's out there. <laughs> uh, but I just think that for the model that I had in mind, it wasn't going to work because I really wanted to take advantage of that drive towards urban living and that drive, drive towards urban life. I asked that question because, you know, at me being a fashion stylist, I've seen many boutiques come and go. Um, and Columbus um, seems to just have tremendously grown fashion related. I mean, that's where all the fashion shows are happening. Um, a lot of models are being discovered there. A lot of designers are, you know, finding their niche there and things like that. And they just have major fashion shows. And considering that Dayton really doesn't have that touch yet, you know, I just always wanted to know why you chose Dayton over Columbus and Cincinnati. I think the operative word in the statement is yet. Yeah. You know, and when you when you really think about that, and you, again, you compare the the cities and you compare what, what's going on there um, economically, disposal wise, of course, you know, as far as you know, disposable income and the people there, you're 100 percent right. Of course, you know, they're um, they're going to have all of those those wild factors, those big things, but it's something that's coming here. And also with that, I think that it's also your focus and what you're looking to do. Um, not that I don't want to have success, but I think that my opinion and what I'm looking for as far as my success differs from that. I'm not looking to do um, fashion week by myself or, you know, something of that nature. I, you know, I'm, I'm, to be honest with you, I'm doing quite well. I enjoy what I do, and I think that that's important um, to, to acknowledge and realize when you're looking at success. What inspires your personal style? Um, comfort. <laughs> comfort. I tell, I tell um, any guy that comes in, um, first off, um, you have to be comfortable in whatever it is that you want to get. You know, I, I, a lot of times I get guys that come in and their wife, their girlfriend, and brought them in and just say, I want him to be in this and I want him to do that. And my first question to him is, okay, so now that we know what your parameters are, what is it that you're looking to do? Because I can take, I can put you in a $10,000 suit, easy. And if you got the money for it, I don't mind to take it. But when it comes down to it, regardless of how much that suit costs that you're inside, if you're not comfortable in it, it's gonna like crap. It's gonna show. You know, you walk around, you're gonna be slapped, you're gonna be this, you're gonna be that. In the same respect, we can turn around and find you instead of doing a custom made suit, we may be able to source you a jacket, some slacks, a shirt that you're comfortable in, that you have your own piece of style, uh, your own style in, and that 
makes you look good. What would you say since you took off um, has been one of your accomplishments and some accomplishments you would like to make? Um, one that, that that really kind of um, really kind of I don't know I, I really felt honored was when I had a gentleman come in and he asked me to actually um, do custom suits for his entire um, wedding party and that to me spoke volumes. Um, he came in a couple of a few times beforehand just to talk before he ever really, you know said anything to me about it. But and he came in one day and said, you know, I, I want to try to do this and he has phenomenal style. I like to say that. So you know that's that's already a, a little intimidating. You know, when you get somebody in and it's not just that they know what they want, but they know why what they want works. You know, I'm gonna say that again. They know why what they want works. So for you coming into that, you have to be able to either deliver that or convince them that what you want works better. You know, so all in all, everything went really well. Um, his wife didn't kill him. She didn't come back and kill me. She was very impressed with what they got. And so were all the guys, um, guys in the wedding party. So uh, I was really, really happy to do that. As far as future accomplishments, more. Um, I know that right now, one, thing, one of the things that I really would like to do is try to get in with some of these um, these events that go on here right now. You know, we have a lot of, we have with the cotillion, um, the debutante ball, things like that. And just to be able to provide them um, with, with their um, formal work needs will be phenomenal. As well as, you know, just more weddings, more props, things like that. So just grow up for you all. Well. Right. So considering um, spring is right around the corner and summer is not far away, what can we expect to see in the wood? One of the things we are kind of, we're going to bring in is a, um, and I talked to the guy the other day, he told me he hates this term, but I'm sorry, Zach, it's the truth. Uh, it's, um, we're going to bring in urban streetwear. And by that, um, I say that a lot, and people think that, you know, I mean, um, you know, oh, it's just going to be total hip hop and this, that, and third, but yeah. it's not. It's, it's an actual, it's almost an art to it yes. if you do it right. And um, to bring that piece into it, to kind of marry it, I think it's gonna gonna do well. We're gonna still keep with all of you know the things that have gotten us here and it's made us successful. You know our ties, our bags, our our our, our suits. Um, the custom suit line will still be available. We'll also still be able to source whatever whatever you're looking for as well. But that's something that the Dayton market is interested in, and it's something that we know that we can do well here because of we're because of the fact that we're going to put our same focus into doing that as we put into doing all the other aspects of it. So um, we're also working with a few dozen, few designers here in the area that actually have lines that have launched and are doing well nationally. Um, they're here, they're home, and we're home, so we're going to bring them in as well right. you know, to, to get them going. Right. All right, so could you please tell us how we can contact you? Um, you can contact me. Find me through Facebook under Linwood Men Specialty Shop. And you can also find me on Instagram at, at Linwood Men's. That's L I N W O O D M E N S. And shop is S H O P P E. P P E. Yes, I. <laughs> yeah, I like the classics. Right, right, right. Well, thank you, Will. It's been a pleasure. Very welcome, man. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for watching the Style Fix. And remember, until next time, the world is your runway.